to uh, another video from Mean and Transmissions. Uh, two locations, one will grow, one land sale. We reach at meanandtransmissions.com. Transmission we're working on today is actually a 68 RFE. It's out of a diesel Dodge pickup truck. Uh, actually, it's there in the uh, parking lot. Uh, customer owns a vehicle, uses it, plows with it. So, you know, there are some things that we want to do to this transmission to make it hold up. Uh, inherently, they do have some problems even in, in stock form. So whenever we see these problems and there's opportunity to update the transmission, make the transmission more durable, we're going to do that. Uh, one of the major uh, problems that these transmissions have, this housing itself is very prone for flexing distortion and that flexing distortion will wind up damaging the overdrive clutches in the transmission. Uh, so what we do is we have an updated assembly. This one has, instead of just having a snap ring that goes in, you see that the housing is drilled and tapped, okay? That housing being drilled and tapped. Then a retaining plate goes on the housing. You know, the steel retaining plate, very thick, very robust, very mechanically sound, uh, and basically eliminates that inherent problem with the transmission. This particular transmission came in, uh, <clears throat> and this uh, snap ring, was, was damaged in the input clutch retainer, okay? So you can see the damage to the pressure plate and see the damage to the input clutch retainer. Uh, so, you know, that uh, that damage, you know, here are the pieces of the snap ring, okay? So this is what the transmission looks like internally. There's your uh, overdrive uh, reverse piston, they call it a piston, uh, but that particular, uh, that particular component, because of the inherent problems that they have, that gets upgraded to an aftermarket piece. Uh, here's the input clutch retainer. Uh, in addition, they do have billet shafts that are available, upgraded input shafts that have higher, you know, higher torque capacity. So one of the advantages of rebuilding a transmission in-house is we can ask the customer how they use the vehicle. Uh, we can ask the customer what future modifications they may have planned for the vehicle, and we can do the appropriate up upgrades uh, to make sure that the transmission's uh, appropriate for the application. Uh, we see this has a three-gear pump. Uh, different design on this versus the uh, 545. Uh, the 545 had not only was the main uh, pump gear uh, a top hat style, but the new one actually, uh, the older ones had the two smaller gears. They were top hat style and they would just go into the housing. This, they actually have a, uh, a component that is uh, inserted in, into the, uh, the pump housing and uh, that's what actually support the pump gear versus the ear on the pump gear itself. Uh, supporting it, so that's an improvement. Uh, one of the other problems that these these transmissions have, the valve bodies, the worm tracks on the valve bodies are very prone for flexing. They do have billet valve bodies available. When you start modifying, changing line pressure, um, you know these uh, changes, manipulating line pressure can deflect those. But even in stock forms, these valve bodies are very prone for cross leakage. Cross leakage can put hydraulic application pressure in circuits that it shouldn't be and also potentially put higher pressures in where it shouldn't be so that's a, uh, a consideration for this build uh, here's the input shaft they do have upgraded input shafts this particular application it's a work truck it's not a uh, not a truck that the guy's going to be doing any heavy modifications so we looked at it you know we figured that the uh, the modification to the uh, to the housing uh, that is very prone for problems probably about all we need uh, here's uh just an explode view of the transmission, just to get a sense of you know what's uh, involved in the scope of the transmission. There's your uh, valve body assembly. Also, the solenoid pack is something that we replace as part of the rebuilding process. But once this transmission is rebuilt, uh, we do these upgrades and have a transmission that's more cost effective than a remanufactured transmission, and ultimately upgraded with these better components.